Look here, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but I ain't no spring chicken. I done got a little long in the tooth, as my papa used to say. But uh, if y'all see me around town in the next few days, I'm a little stiff in the back and, and in the leg. I done mess around and pulled a hamstring. So if y'all see me wobbling and stumbling, y'all just kind of help me back up on my feet and uh, get me pointed in the right direction. I, that'd be much appreciated. But I pulled, pulled my hamstring last Sunday after church running at the Popeye's chicken shack. But uh what what it what had happened was me and my wife had pulled into our regular parking spot and uh I looked in the rear view mirror and there was a big old bus back there that said the first assembly church you go. I know it was them before I even read the sign because they got that little um the the hands on the side with the dove flying like you know what I'm talking about. Y'all seen them out. And if you see them women out, you know right then they be out there doing the Lord's work. Good women. Good Christian women. But uh, I said, you know what? If we don't hurry up and get us a spot in line, we ain't never going to eat. Matter of fact, if we don't hurry up and take off now, it'll be supper time before we get our lunch. Now she she said, Oh, all right. And I seen then. I said, Girl, you moving too slow. I, I ain't fast, but I'm faster than she is. But I should have known better. I, I mean, I look like an old bald turkey trying to run across that lot. Just, you know, I, I should have known better. I, sh I should have known better. But as soon as I opened my door, I looked over there at that bus, and that first big woman that come up off that bus made eye contact. Now, that's a whole busload of them. Now, I ain't talking about no fat women. I'm talking about some big, thick, husky women. I'm talking about lumberjack women. Women that'll hold an axe and a Bible and, and chop lumber for you. But as soon as we made eye contact, I know then. It was on. I struck out. I didn't even look, but I could hear breathing behind me. As soon as I took off running, she struck out too. So we run across the parking lot just. As soon as I got to that front door, I slung that front door open like I own the place. I looked back at her and said, hee hee hee, and went in. They had mopped that front lobby with that greasy mop that you mop in the back back there with. If they spill a bucket of oil, that's the mop you go get. That's the mop they mopped the lobby with. My right leg went halfway out into the into the into the Popeye's chicken shack right there. My left leg was still back yonder in the parking lot somewhere. All my manly parts were just dropped right down there in the middle and amongst the everything. The door just in the back of the head. That woman came up behind me. Rubbed me on the top of my head. Made no attempt to help me up. And said, thank you, baby. <laughs> and went on and got in line. Now, I want you to know, by this time, there was a whole herd of them coming in. And every one of them commenced rubbing me on top of my head. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Make me sick. My wife, she heading up the back of the line. She didn't want to break in front of the line. Now, I know she's seen me laying there like I'm some type of two-foot-tall door holder sprawled and split in half out there. But she come on out there. She helped me up, and I sure appreciate it, too, because I couldn't have got up on my own. She said, you want to get in line? No. No, baby. I was, I was hot as a firecracker right in. And I told her, I said, I tell you what, I just... I'll try it again next week. I, I, I'll go home and eat me a pimento cheese sandwich, but I appreciate it. And to the folks at the Popeye's Chicken, go wash your mop. <laughs>